Hi everyone. So in this video I'm going back to the topic of Nexium. Now I've done uh, plenty of videos in the past and some with Roberta Glass regarding Nexium. And recently this article came out about Kristen Crook. Now we've already discussed, um, I'll put the link below, it's on Frank Report. Now we've already discussed in the past or I've discussed in videos about Keith Maneri and Allison Mack, Nancy Salzman, Claire Bronfman, Sarah Bronfman, all these top Nexium people. But Kristen Crook doesn't really get as much attention for her involvement with Nexium that she really should. And that's the topic of this article that just came out on Frank Reports. And now, Kristen basically lied about when she left because in March 2018, when this was when Nexium you know, was blowing up in the media, she ha was forced the one time and the only time that Kristen has spoken about Nexium at all in the media is she claims that she took executive success programs slash Nexium and she was there to cure her shyness and she claimed that she left around 2012. However, during the trial, the New York Post last year in May 2019 reported that photos from 2014 showed that Kristen Crook as well as other top Nexium people took a trip to Claire Bronfman's Fiji Island. Claire Bronfman owns an island in Fiji and there were pictures there in 2014 of Kristen Crook. So we already know that Kristen not only has not discussed anything or given any details or supported um, her co-star there, Allison Mack, and keeping in mind that Kristen Crook brought Allison Mack and Allison Mack is facing prison time, over a decade in prison, for sex trafficking and other charges. And meanwhile, it was Kristen Crook who brought Allison Mack into Nexium. And yet she doesn't, she walks away unscathed. She runs back to Canada. She self produces a new TV show, which apparently is a hit up there called Burden of Truth. And ironically and hypocritically, Kristen Crook cast herself as. A lawyer defending young women who were being victimized and meanwhile Kristen Crook when she wasn't part of Nexium for almost a decade we don't know exactly when she left we know she's not being honest when she left uh, we know she's left later than she claimed uh, but we don't and we do know that she was heavily involved with recruiting teenagers and young people actors artists and and she even got an award for her show burden of truth recently just last month but she brought Allison Mack into it, and she was very heavily involved with recruiting young women and girls into Nexium. But she's, you know, has refused to speak about anything. She has not opened up and, and been honest or open about anything. She doesn't talk about what she learned there, what she did for 10 years. Now, we do know that Kristen Crook was a coach of coaches. She traveled around coaching people. She was a yellow sash, two stripes or three stripes. She was getting up there. She was, again, she was part of Nexium for almost a decade. And she used her star power from Smallville at the time to lure in all these young fans into the show. So it was a big deal. She was a very prominent uh, person for Nexium. And she brought in a lot of young people b due to her influence from being a star on the hit Superman show at the time. And she walks away without a single, not even a slap on the wrist, nothing. And she does, and furthermore, does not support Allison Mack. So she's the little bit that she's come out and said, the only thing that Kristen Crook has come out and said is this one tweet on March 29th, 2018 on her, on her Twitter account, and it's, she lies. So the one time she speaks out about it, she lies, and other than that, she has refused to answer any questions. She's been giving multiple interviews uh, to people, to fans online, but you'll notice that all the questions are screened, and she, no, nobody, allegedly, nobody ever asks her about her Nexium days, which is, you know, of course, she's screening out all questions. She flat out refuses to take any culpability for her crimes at Nexium, and I believe she has committed crimes there. But, you know, again, a matter of proving it. However, you know, we, we know the, what Allison Mack did, and Allison Mack is going to prison. But Kristen Crook, the woman who recruited Allison Mack into Nexium, walks away unscathed and onto a successful hit TV show and virtue signaling for the latest, you know, causes. So, yeah, what do you think? Have you watched her? What do you think of Kristen Crook? I'll put a link to the article below. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.